As Easter approaches, local pastors in the area are finding ways to accommodate the people within their pews and how to put recovery aside to focus on the resurrection. Family of God Baptist Church and Macedonia Missionary Baptist Church, both still feeling the impact of Hurricane Michael. The damage is massive and it looks like that uh, the building may have to come down to the ground. So the damage there is at least half a million dollars minimum. As the biggest religious weekend of the year approaches, the two senior pastors will be hosting a larger amount of guests. Wood's main sanctuary being destroyed, pushing his congregation to a smaller building on campus. The uh, biggest problem on Sunday is uh, just finding enough space in this facility uh, to make people comfortable for worship. For Nelson, it was the additional space they had that was hit the hardest. We limited some of the ministries that we've been able to do um, because that was a, a great place for us to do. Our, we did our Sunday school there for our teens. We had our children's church there um, doing our morning worship services. We also had our Sunday night um, youth Bible study there. Wood says he thinks the storm caused a spiritual awakening. It's brought the church outside the walls. Uh, it, it caused the people to realize that church is not about the building but it's about people. Both pastors seeing an opportunity to bring encouragement to those who may not normally lend an ear. The resurrection will infuse us with the power to overcome our recovery. So I think resurrection and recovery goes together. You know, the resurrection deals with man's recovery uh, with God and God bringing them uh, man back to him. And I think this is, uh, is going to go hand to hand together even in the message on Sunday. Uh, you know, we can recover. Uh, because we have hope in Christ Jesus. And just like he brought us together uh, back with the Father, he's going to put us back together in this community. Kayla Tucker, News 13, Panhandle Strong.